Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, John here again. And today what we're going to be doing is going through Code Academy. What this is, is a service online. It's a website where you can go on and learn how to code. They offer uh, some courses, they offer some projects, and it really looks like a good idea. And what I'm going to do is review it, tell you if, whether it's worth it or not, or whether it's complete bullshit. And yeah, so let's just get started. So here's their pricing page. So for $0, what it looks like is you get some basic courses. This sounds like probably some garbage that is not going to be that useful because for the for to get real mobile practice projects and the real meat of the courses it sounds like you need a pro license so that being said um 19.99 a month to learn how to code uh very cheap very worth it and kind of makes me question the like how good this course actually is right for 20 dollars a month uh, that's a really cheap price. So if you can really code and apply that all what they're teaching for twenty dollars a month, I would say yeah, this is probably one of the best deals you could ever get. So what I've done is get a pro license. So you basically fill out a survey and it recommends to you um, a course based on what you what you filled out. So, so what it recommended to me was welcome to learn how to build websites. Um, I think that's just the CSS. An HTML course, um, which is pretty basic, and then, honestly, if you're trying to become a software developer, learning CSS and HTML is a complete waste of time. I would, rec yeah. So yeah, it literally says build a website with HTML, CSS. Yeah, I think learning CSS and HTML is a complete waste of time if you're trying to become a software developer. Rarely you have to actually use HTML and CSS, um, and it's definitely not a job people pay a lot of money for. So um, not not off to a great start with this, but there's probably a ton of other courses. Let's see. So I pick if I can choose a career path. So I can pick a career path, web development, data science, computer science, code foundations. Let's pick web development and JavaScript, Node.js, SQL, Express, React. This is perfect. This is like the meat of web development. And let's see what you're going to learn. So first HTML, CSS, I guess it, it doesn't focus as much on HTML and CSS, which is a great thing, but it does a little, which is pretty useful. Then it goes into JavaScript, more CSS, more JavaScript, the DOM um intermediate javascript command line git so this is really really a in pretty intensive one it gets into react into express how to build an api so uh, this is a really good um course it looks like that covers everything from the front end to the back end um so let's get started so the website does not work <laughs> kidding so the website is not working actually uh this is a horrible thing no i'm joking my wi-fi is probably just garbage so intro to web development there's some video uh, don't want to watch it. Sweet. I completed a course, guys. I am not a web developer. <laughs> no, no. Okay, start next lesson. So it has nice little achievements. It's pretty cool. Keeps you motivated. You started a streak. Keep it going tomorrow. I love that. Um, let's see. Let's bring. Let's make it bigger. So it really gets you started. It lets you type. It lets you code right here, and then your output is over there. That's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Um, let's just, however, I can't skip. So if we keep going. It teaches you how, uh, the things of HTML. And honestly, guys, I do like the fact that it teaches you on the side and then gives you a place to code. And it looks like, it looks like you can really apply everything you're learning, which I really do like. I would have loved to skip this, though. So let's try out something else. It really looks like the web development course is pretty good um, if you actually complete it. Let's see the Learn Swift, right? Right here. Learn Swift. I have no idea how to code in Swift. Um, I've never done so in my life, so this can be a good idea. So uh, let's see, overview, blah, blah, blah. 25 hours to complete, pretty pretty small amount of time, but honestly, not bad at all. If you can if you, you can do that in like a week, uh, if you really try, and then kind of like build, build an app. Like honestly, guys, what I would do is I would get a month. I think it's $40 for one month if you play monthly. You go through a uh, whole Swift course, and then you stop. You pay $40 and you get a pretty intensive Swift course. I would honestly recommend doing that if you, this is what you want to learn. So it gives you a nice introduction. iOS, watch OS, happy coding. You love to see it. Um, and then go next. So honestly, it starts off like anything else. Print Hello World. You run it. And, and it's honestly pretty great. You know, I do really like this. And I like the different amounts of, you know, of languages you can use. I like how easy it is to, you know, you, you see the instructions, there's a place to write your code, and then there's the output, which is pretty awesome. You kind of get like the whole experience. Then you get a problem here, instead of displaying these two lines in the code, now let's actually go through the problem. So this will output, okay, so you're kind of learning how to output stuff, awesome. 
Now let's use what we learned so far. So then it gives you a little coding challenge. This is great. So instead of displaying those two lines in the code editor, edit the code so that we'd output the following pattern in the terminal. That's awesome. You're stuck. You get a hint, right? And there you go. It gives you the answer. I don't like that it gives you the answer so quickly because there you go. I just completed uh, I just completed the whole thing, but it's pretty great. And, and there's like really good, really good information. There's forums, there's cheat sheets. You get to run the code. And honestly, guys, so far, Code Academy is looking very worth it. So let's see how many courses there really are. So you can honestly start with the foundations, learn some computer science, data science, web development. And there's everything from SQL to R to Python, build Android apps. Honestly, guys, this looks like a great, great, um, great resource to learn how to code. Not going to lie, especially, especially if you can only get one month and then just, you know, start learning. Basically, what I would do is kind of find what you want to learn. And then let's say you want to be a web developer, create a front end app with React, create a back end app with JavaScript. You complete these two. Now you do, you see eight weeks, all of a sudden eight weeks. So 10 weeks, seven weeks before it was like 25 hours. Um, I don't know what that means, but if you want to be a web developer, literally these two, and then pass the technical interview with JavaScript. Guys, this is like so incredible. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very, very surprised with how good this is. This is literally teaches you JavaScript. This is a very basic course. Now the eight weeks is kind of complete bullshit that uh, it takes eight weeks to learn this. Actually, maybe not. Um, if you're a complete beginner, yeah, it'll probably take you eight weeks. But honestly, guys, so far I'm very impressed and I would definitely say uh, that if you wanna learn how to code, this is a great, great resource. Um, let's just confirm the pricing, guys. I got a free trial, but I'm pretty sure it's $20 a month if you pay annually, so it's gonna be like $240 for the year, one time payment. Or if you um, wanna pay per month, it's $40 a month. And like I said before, what I would do right now is if you wanna learn how to code, I get one month, see how it goes, do a whole course, just sit down, sit your ass down, you know, learn, complete a whole course and then do it. And I think this will put you in a pretty good spot, not gonna lie. So guys, Code Academy gets, gets a good review and I would totally recommend it.